Hey there guys, TM73 here bringing you the deck profile for the day. This is the mono black Vlad list that you saw uh, Josh use against me. Uh, this is also the list that he used with a couple of tweaks um, from the list that he used to take first place at the Michigan State National, or sorry, Michigan State um, Championships for ARG, Michigan State Championships ARG. Um, very, very powerful list, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dig right in. So obviously we know about Vlad. Um, this deck never flips her. Um, there's been maybe one instance in all the games that we've played that he's even thought about it, um, but really, you're never really gonna ever flip her. And you can just uh, pay two of any color to train your opponent for 200 life, and then gain 200 life yourself. Very, very powerful trick, um, especially because you can use it multiple times during either player's turn. Um, just very, very potent. Going into the stones, we play one Grubalesta, just to be able to deal with Shade Rulers a little bit easier with Dark Purge and a little red the pure stone because again sometimes you know you want to get around spells like that um, with little red and then doing some shenanigans with pumping to finish off damage and then we run 14 darkness stones so the reason why we don't run a 10 card stone deck is just purely for the mirror so we don't want to have to outrace the mirror um, with vlad we always want to have more stones than our opposing vlad deck uh, and a lot of vlad players really aren't playing a ton of stones so we play four we play a total of 16 stones Moving into the resonators, there's not a lot. It's a very high cost resonator uh, thing. We run three Scion of Ancient Lores. This is just for having putting a pressure body out there that also does life drain swings. 400 to your opponent, 400 gain for you. Very, very powerful. Three, zero the Magnus of Null for reactions on your opponent's turn to create more negative board states, to steal flying, um, and to be able to flash in on your opponent's turn and then swing in on your turn while you can still leave all that will open. For spot removal creatures, the uh, three Carmilla, just four drop, kill something. It's a powerful card all by itself. And then uh, four Arthurs for more negative board states uh, and because you can keep recurring them. You don't have a ton of resonators, so you can't recur them a lot, but I mean, you can do it once or twice. Uh, and I mean, he, he creates negative board states and board pumps for all of your few resonators so it's very very easy to kill with with him um, but again the main win con of the deck is actually vlad uh, to put your opponent to a board state where you can just out drain them um, regardless of what kind of damage they put on board so that's why the huge resonator count isn't important um spell lineup three soul hunt just very easy early game early game stoppage you can play this uh, kill a creature when you even when you have nothing on your board play this kill a creature make them discard a card and discard like an Arthur to bring it back later or something else like that then four stoning to death and four dark purge um, stoning these are the reason why we play these is because it's not dealing damage it's just straight kill you with either straight damage uh, straight destruction or removing uh, stats to zero to put you at a board state where um, you're killed by rules process. And the other reason why we played Dark Purge 2 is to um, do to J rulers. Because you can um, you can hit J slash resonators with Dark Purge. So very, very nasty tricks can be done with those against, you know, Arla's, Prissia's, all, all kinds of stuff when they flip over. Three Void Blast, it is kind of expensive. We do run the three zeros to make it a one cost card. Um, the reason why we play this is because there are some things that we don't want to destroy, like Guild Arise, uh, Arthur's in the Mirror Match, uh, stuff like that, Susan, um, Susan's, things, Yamada's that we don't want to see have them come back. Like being able to just pay one or even three if you have to and RFG something is very, very powerful. And so that's why we run those. Four Endless Knights, again, it's a little more expensive, but it creates negative board states like nobody's business, so you just kill something and everything on the board gets minus two, minus two, and because we don't play a ton of resonators, that really doesn't affect us a ton, it affects us for at most a turn and then just uh, turns off, uh, and so you can really, really wreck your opponent's play lines by playing those, especially when you have like a Mount Immortal or something else on the board. Uh, two Book of Ivan to be able to kind of cheat in an Arthur early if you need to. Um, pretty much that's the only. Or steal something that you killed of your opponents uh, and turn it against them to finish the game. Uh, two Dark Purges just to be able to clear out uh, flooded board states in case you can't find your Mount of Mortals fast enough. Just instant speed, wait for them to go into attack, Dark Purge, kill the field. Very, very good. And then three 
Mount Immortals to obviously create those negative stat attribute board states. You can just stack multiple Mount Immortals plus Arthurs and just create a board state where your opponent just literally can't play anything or they're too weak to even matter. Um, very, very good. And then just two Artemis Bows. Um, purely, we use this pretty much purely for Arla. Uh, to be able to, you know, if you put both of them on board, Arla pretty much just has to kind of sit there and, you know, avoid get, taking the damage. Um, but also it can be really helpful when you have um, a Mount Immortal. 400 damage with a Mount Immortal and an Arthur on the board can pretty much be lethal to a lot of the main creatures being played right now. So we just teched in two. It's just kind of a if you needed it kind of thing. So there you guys have it. That is the Mono Dark list. Let me know what you think about it, what you would run differently, what you would run the same. And uh, hopefully we will... Um, be able to see different versions of this, especially with all the new darkness spoilers that we got for Twilight Wanderers coming out next week. So go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe as always. And until next time, this is DMO73 signing off.